Don't use subtitles. It's just reading. Subtitles will boost your vocabulary. Subtitles are useless and distracting. So, what's the truth? Hey, my fellow English learner! When you're watching movies, TV shows, and YouTube videos in English, do you use subtitles in English or maybe subtitles in your native language? You've probably come across many different opinions about it. And I've heard from some learners that they're actually afraid of watching anything with subtitles because they think they will damage their like listening skills somehow. No one seems to agree on this topic. That's why today we're gonna go deep and analyze academic research, plus my personal experience, and I will help you make an informed decision on whether you should or shouldn't use subtitles. Let's dive in! In this video, I'm gonna use the word subtitles a lot, even though it's not the most exact word to use. Actually, <laughs> subtitles in the language of a video are called closed captions, and that's why there is a CC button on YouTube you can use to turn the captions on and off. But subtitles is definitely the word that you'll hear more often and that it's easier to use. There are many different types of subtitles to help language learners out there. I'm going to focus on two of them. So when you're watching a video in English with English subtitles and when you're watching a video in English with subtitles in your native language. In my experience, watching videos in another language with subtitles in your native language doesn't work. Like, at all. I've been watching Korean and Chinese TV series and variety shows with Russian and English subtitles for a decade now. And it's safe to say that I haven't learned any Korean or Chinese yet. Yeah, I got used to the way the languages sound, but thousands of hours of watch time contributed little to nothing to my comprehension of these languages. Watching videos in the language you're studying with subtitles in this language, however, is a totally different story. When I came up with the idea for this video, I thought that my personal experience wouldn't be enough. So I searched Google Scholar for academic research on this topic and found quite a few papers. I soon realized that I wasn't in the mood for reading hundreds upon hundreds of pages of complicated formal writing, and that's why I cheated. Kinda. I found one paper where people read and analyzed more than 40 academic articles about the effectiveness of using subtitles to learn a second language. The paper was a so-called meta-analysis of those studies, and the hard work was done for me, and all I had to do was to read one paper instead of 40. Listening is one of the most difficult skills to improve for an English learner or a language learner in general because we're listening to things in real time and often we can't control the speed of the content. Even if we know something, sometimes we just don't have time to react and use the knowledge we already have in our heads. Research also suggests that the better your vocabulary, the better are your listening skills. Actually, in his book, What Should Every ESL Teacher Know?, Paul Nation says that to take part in listening and speaking, including watching TV and movies, learners need to have a vocabulary size of around 5,000 word families and a listening and speaking speed of around 150 words per minute. A word family here means a group of related words that are formed from the same word. So the words like help, helper, helpful, helpless all belong to the same word family. Let's go back to the study. So they analyzed data from those 40 papers and concluded that results thus support the claim that captioning helps learners to improve comprehension and fosters vocabulary learning. In simpler words, if you watch videos in English with English subtitles, 
not only will it help you understand your listening materials better and improve your listening skills, but it also will help you improve your vocabulary. But there is one thing they mention you might want to pay attention to. Not everything you watch with subtitles will be useful for you. Why? Because for the whole thing to be effective, the materials need to be the right level for you. If not, redundant on-screen text might indeed result in poor learning. I totally agree with that. I'm learning a couple of languages from scratch and I tried watching videos that were too complex for me. And the subtitles didn't help. They were useless for me. But simpler materials worked magically. For me, simple means that I understand at least 80% of what's going on on screen. But I've also heard numbers like 95% and even 98%. For me, personally, understanding that much would probably lead to boredom. <laughs> in English, I used to rely on subtitles a lot in the past, and I still use them from time to time, especially when I'm eating or sitting in a noisy environment or want to pay close attention to new vocabulary and grammar structures. I also watch historical TV shows in English with subtitles, especially those filled with different dialects. And my listing is considered C2. It's normal not to understand everything, like 100% of what you're listening to in your native language, let alone like your second or third language. That's when subtitles come in handy. The same study says that captioning can be considered a powerful tool for reinforcing learners' comprehension of video materials. Why do subtitles work? Well, subtitles help you pay conscious attention to the speech and bridge this gap between your reading and listening skills. They can help you recognize words and phrases and reduce your anxiety from not being able to understand what you're hearing. And that's a big plus for me. Subtitles can also help you improve your vocabulary. You focus on the correct form of words, especially on some new or unusual words, and you pay more attention, which is super important if you want to remember a word. Subtitles can also help you isolate new words better and understand the meaning of new words from context. There is also a thing called the dual coding theory, which states that you learn more effectively if you listen to something and read it or look at the picture at the same time. You stimulate both your eyes and your ears and this facilitates learning. Watching videos with subtitles is not a bad thing, but I totally get it if you want to stop relying on subtitles all the time. If uh, watching a video without subtitles is a little bit difficult for you, you can watch this part of a film or a TV show with subtitles first and watch the same thing without. Or Vice versa. Sometimes when I'm watching a TV show and I don't understand the line after hearing it a couple of times, I turn on the subtitles and just listen to it again. It's also important to mention that this meta-analysis doesn't talk much about improving your listening skills in the long run. But it's kind of hard to test. From my experience, subtitles work wonderfully. I'd love to hear what you guys think about subtitles. And if you need a recommendation of great YouTube channels with awesome English subtitles, check out this video next. And thank you for watching. I'll see you next time with more awesome language content.